All right, this is our last full video in the circle unit, circle equations. It's going to be a kind of a long video, a lot of examples, a lot of different things to cover here. So the first things first, we can draw circles in the coordinate plane. When we do, we have a center h comma k. Now our usual coordinate plane is, our ordered pair rather, is x comma y. So the h is the x coordinate, the k is the y coordinate. The h tells us left and right, the k term tells us left and or up and down. And that fits over here into our formula, or whatever our radius is, which is going to be the distance from the center to any point on the circle. You should square that and set it up into this formula as well. The h and the k will go right there. Notice that it's a minus sign and a minus sign. That'll be pretty important. Let's try a few. First one, identify the center and the radius of each, and then let's sketch it. So the center and the radius. Well, this is in really nice form for us. This is the standard form of a circle. And the center is going to be negative 4, comma, positive 1. The way that that works is if this is a positive 4 in the formula, your x, your x term is going to be the opposite sign. If this is a negative 1 in the y, then this will be a positive 1 in the actual center. So our center is negative 4, comma 1. I'll put it in orange. It's right here. I'll call that point C. And the radius is the square root of <clears throat> this guy right here. So what is, you gotta remember that is equal to r squared. So r squared is 9. So r is the square root of 9, or 3. It would also be negative 3, but we can't use that in real life. So here we go. This is the tough part. We want to draw a circle with a radius of 3. So we're going to put four points here. One, two, three. I'm going to go straight up. One, two, three. Straight left. One, two, three. And down. One, two, three. So we have our center and our four points there. This is the tough part. We want to sketch this circle. Let's see how well I do here. Not too bad for freehand. That is the graph of this circle, number two. All right, so now we're given that the center is 1, comma, negative 2, and the radius is 4. So we set up our circle equation. Circle equation always starts with this shell. And this is, remember, h, comma, k. So x minus h, y minus k is equal to the radius squared, 4 squared. All right, so that's just going to stay the way it is. This guy has a double negative, so we'll change that to a positive, and this is 16. And that's it. Really simple. Number two, or number three, rather. All right, the center this time is uh, negative 1, comma 9. So this is going to be my h value. This is going to be my k value. So right away, I'm going to go x minus negative 1 squared plus the quantity y minus 9 squared. We just need to find radius. And to do that, they're giving us a point that's on the circle. So if we have a center at negative 1, comma 9, and a point on the circle at negative 4, comma 11, we want to find the distance between these two because this is a circle. Not a very good one, but you know what I'm saying. So this is the center, and we want to find the distance from the center to the point on the circle. That'll be our radius. So we've got to go back to our distance formula. Distance formula looks a lot like the circle formula. Where we're going to go x sub 2 minus x sub 1, y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. 11 minus 9 is 2. Negative 3 squared is 9 plus 4. So it's the square root of 13. That's what our radius is. Up here we don't want radius though, we want radius squared. So we want to take this thing and square it. Well, when you take that thing and square it, you just get rid of the radical symbol. So we're going to change this up to a positive there. We have a double negative and we're finished. 
Not too bad. Moving along, a couple more examples here. We want to write the equation of this circle. So let's just find the center. The center is at negative uh, 2, negative 4. So it's going to be x plus 2 quantity squared plus quantity y plus 4 squared. And we just need to find the radius. It's really simple. You just count 1, 2, 3. The radius is 3. So this is going to be 9. 3 squared is 9. Simple as that. You can find radii going down as well, or going left, or going up. Cool. Number five. All right, so I'll give you a circle. This is number five. I'm going to give you a circle. You're going to tell me whether these points lie on the circle, inside the circle, or outside the circle. So if you wanted to graph this, you can. It would be really, I think, a useful tool if you wanted to graph it. But I'm just going to plug it in. I'm just going to plug my numbers in. So let's start with the first one. We'll call this A, B, and C. So in A, we're going to go, let's see, 9 minus 5. What we're doing here is we're checking that point into the X and this into the Y. And we're going to see if it works. Four squared plus zero squared does that equal 16? 16? 16 definitely equals 16. When it does, that means that point lies on the circle. Letter B. Just plug it in. You get quantity three minus five squared plus the quantity four plus two squared. Does that equal 16? Well, negative two squared. 6 squared, does that equal 16? This is 4 and 36. That clearly does not equal 16. So it's not on the circle, but what is it? Well, 40 is bigger than 16. When that's the case, that point lies outside, outside the, rate, the uh, circle. All right, letter C. 6 minus 5 squared plus quantity negative 3 plus 2 squared. Does that equal 16? This is 1 squared. This is negative 1 squared. So that's 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 does not equal 16. In fact, it's less than. When it's less than, that means the point lies inside the circle. And again, you can graph that to confirm. You can plug those in on a coordinate plane and actually see them work. All right, I'm going to give you a second to fill out this chart. So pause it now and try this. And when you press play again, I'll have all the answers up there for you. All right, hopefully you tried all those. Let's go ahead and fill in these blanks. So we've got the radius squared equals quantity x minus 2 squared plus quantity y minus 10 squared. Next one is 6 squared, that's the radius squared. x plus 1 squared plus the quantity y minus 4 squared. Over here is 121. The center is at 0, 0, so it just looks like this. This one has a missing spot for the radius, that's 9. The radius is 9, so it's r squared is 81. And the center would be, let's see, positive 5, positive 12. Here they're giving you this guy here, so that means my radius must be the square root of that. And this is minus 1 plus 8. Radius is 5, it's the square root of 25. Center is positive 9, negative 2. Last one, the radius is 10. And the center is 0, comma, negative 11. Whenever you see that alone, that means it's a 0. So there you go. There was a good nine and a half minutes on circles. And that brings our circle unit to a close.